Good morning, good morning, New Life. Welcome to our fully devoted devotions. Today is Good Friday. And I want us to take a few moments, just as followers of Jesus, to reflect on this sacred, this holy day. It's the day that we stop and remember what Christ did for us on the cross. See, the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. That means somebody had to pay that price. Somebody had to die so we don't have to die. And on the cross, Jesus went and he suffered. He was crucified. And he uttered these last words, it is finished. And you're like, when Jesus died on the cross, there was something that powerful that happened in the heavens that was made available for you and I. It was forgiveness of sins. It's reconciliations. It is redemption. And I want to encourage all of us today to stop and just allow the Lord to restore the awe, the sacredness of this moment, the death on the cross. It is the cross where Paul said is our only answer, that we preach the cross at the end of the day, that the gospel, that the entire gospel story is focused around Jesus going to the cross for you and for me. I want us to focus on that and prepare our hearts for Easter weekend. New Life, I'm really believing God's gonna do something very, very special in all of our gatherings as we talk about the gospel story. And I'm praying that this Easter weekend that every one of us would realize that it was at the cross and the empty tomb that all of us have been set free, that we are now reconciled to God. We are justified just like we have never sinned because of what our Savior did on the cross and the power of the empty tomb, that we were once dead, but now we're alive in Christ because of Jesus. Let's pray for this weekend, pray for all the gatherings, I'm praying that we would prepare our hearts good, that we don't just walk in our Easter weekend kind of scattered, but we prepare our hearts and our minds to celebrate the greatest day in history, the resurrection of our Savior. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for this moment, this sacred, holy day where we celebrate Good Friday. We celebrate what Jesus did on the cross. Lord, I pray that every new life for every one of us would take a moment on this day and let this be a holy, a sacred day. Lord, I pray for our Easter weekend. Father, I pray that there would be a celebration, an awakening at new life for the gospel, the gospel story, that Father, we were once dead in our sin, but now we're made alive in Jesus because of what happened on the cross and the empty tomb. Lord, I pray blessing, prepare our hearts for this weekend, prepare our minds, prepare our spirits. I pray this in Jesus' name, amen and amen.